everyone, it's Stacy or Miss Stoso, and today I'm going to be showing you some of my new Palmer clay creations, and I'm going to get straight into it. So the first thing I made was inspired by Funky Pingal and her tutorial on the little M&M cookie mirror, and I made this one, and this is kind of my own version because I um, made a different face and I made mine chocolate chip. And I really love the way it's textured, and this is probably one of my favorite charms right now. The face is so innocent. <laughs> and then the other mirror charm I made is this little turtle pan. It's also textured and shaded, and there's a mirror in the back. Then I made this little cat and it's really simple but i love the color and i think it turned out really neat which is kind of a new thing for my charms so i like that <laughs> then i made this miniature and it's little truffles which have strawberry icing on each one and then there's some icing in the middle and the shape of a heart as you can see and it's all in woodsy oops and yes i know it's a bit off center but no, still so cute. Next thing I made was this little fox, and this is inspired by a picture I saw on Pinterest. And I shaded the tail, as you can see, to make it look more realistic. But what can be more realistic than a round fox, right, guys? Then I made this real Akuma standing up, and he's out of gold clay, and there's a little tail in the back, and then there's some silver accents, um, like his tummy and his ears are silver, and the face is polymer clay. Oop. There we go. Then I made this pair of earrings, and then they're just, uh, they're little donuts with strawberries on woodsies. Then I made these two, and I'm going to show you this one first. This is inspired by XRX Rufus, and they're supposed to be um, cookies in the process of being made. So there's this one, and it kind of failed because the TLS dissolved the little micro marbles, and you can actually see the silver right there where they lost its color. And um, obviously, I just realized after I baked it, why would you have um, an iced <laughs> cookie with sprinkles if it wasn't even baked yet? So, you know, and then the second one I made is this one. And I really like the way this one turned out. So there's a rolling pin and some dough. And then there's a bowl of icing as well as a bowl of sprinkles. And I keep saying sprinkles. It's actually sprinkles. I'm sorry. Let's move here. Then I made this bowl of salad, and then there's some lettuce and some pieces of tomato on top. And then this thing uh, is a lantern, and then the base and the top are made with granite clay, and then there's a little flame, as well as a cute little face, and the handle, and I really love the way it turned out. Then I made something inspired by a picture on Pinterest as well. It's this little letter with wings. I guess it's flying away. Woo! And has a little heart on it. It was really fun to make. Then I made this kawaii closet by kawaii. I mean, kawaii face. I don't know. Kawaii means cute, but for me, cute charms that are charms which have cute little faces on them. But anyways, it's um, a little golden closet. Then there's this slice of cheese. Lately, I've been quite out of inspiration. So I was just going around the house and looking at different objects. And for example, a bowl of salad from dinner. <laughs> From dinner time, I was like, yeah, I should make that. And then the lantern, um, as well as the piece of cheese in the closet. So that's a pretty good way to get inspiration, guys. You should try it. Then there's this Ikea candle. And um, 
I guess you're confused, but um, if you don't know what IKEA is, it's a store which literally has everything for life, like furniture, food, stuff like that. And they sell these really big, really cool candles and they smell amazing. So this one is red, so it's supposed to be like the wild berries one or whatever it's called. I'm going to insert a picture right now so you can see what I'm talking about. And then the last thing I made is this little jellyfish and it kind of failed. Um, by the way, it was inspired by jellyfish charms, but my wire did some funky business down there. You see, I guess the glaze made it, um, go crazy or something. Anyways, and then, um, I made the top two round. Obviously, jellyfish are not, like, balls, so looks kind of weird. Uh, anyways, this was everything that I made, and I really hope you guys liked it. Um, if you have anything to say to me or any questions to ask me, you can just leave it in the comments down below. And I'm going to put all of the links of, of the people by who these were inspired by, some of these, uh, in the description box. So you can check them out as well as some tutorials. And I really hope you guys like this. So bye!